Hey, welcome back to the big board. So I have a couple of uh, uh, openings here for us to uh, shrink grips to uh, take a look at something easy for my little foggy brain to handle today. And the first one I want to take a look at is uh, Tom Russell design. This is a game from uh, Holland Spiel. It's the seventh game that they have released. I kind of like the uh, the numbering system on the side there. It's kind of cool. And um, this game is Battle of Inkerman, 1854. So it's post-Napoleonic Crimean War. And the cool thing about this is it's actually... It's, you know, its heritage is it's probably the second game in the system. Uh, the first was, I think, called Blood on the Elma, if I remember correctly. And it came in a line of fire magazine uh, from Lock and Load. And uh, the game, uh, that game, uh, had wonderful production values. And the game mechanics were very, very interesting and very different with the somewhat asynchronous uh, sequence of play and things like that. So I thought uh, this would be, and I'm sorry for the camera shaking, I don't have my traditional camera stand. And unfortunately when I bump the bump the, the, the table, uh, everything's gonna move around a bit. And since I tend to fidget, we could be in for a rocky ride. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, I just noticed this. Uh, affordable, careful, carefully curated military history games. <coughs> I think that sums up Holland Spiel's uh, intent and theme very nicely. All right, so blood in the fog, as opposed to blood on the Elmo. So let's have a look at it. Let's get inside the box, huh? Nice artwork on the box. We've got a uh, kind of a, a frosted feel on the edges here. There's a, a two-tone, two-color uh, font. I'm not a huge fan of multiple fonts on a uh, on a box or on uh, designs, but uh, these two these two seem to work okay together. And of course, I love the little uh, little badge there, little medal. All right, one die. Step counters. And the counters themselves. Uh, there was a great, great article written uh, by Tom on his design process for coming up with the counter art, and uh, it was very uh, illuminating to me to see his thought process go into action. So uh, I, I appreciated getting inside the mind of the designer and the graphic artist there in that case. Okay, so these are the standard. Thickness, easy, basically easy punch uh, counters, and they're very well done. As you can see here, the, the, this art, uh, it's got kind of like almost like a watermark uh, effect to it there that we can see. Russians and British, the French down here, and the backs of the, the counters. Uh, these all have different uh, different numbers that I'm used to from um, from the original, the first game in the series. So I can't really offer too much commentary on what they what they may be. Now my 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 minor pet peeve is the game boxes are just a little tight. Uh, but uh, you know, nice production value on the box. I'm going to actually drop this uh, map out here. Looks like it's a two piece. No, it's a one piece map. So this is an information track uh, dealing with the fog, hence the artwork on the cover, which is what I uh, recalled in the Battle of Winkerman uh, was a foggy affair. But we have a fog track to keep, uh, keep um, to mind, and then victory tracks for both sides. Now there are two maps that go together here. Let's have a look at the uh, one that's rather brown and one is vibrant the green and brown and there you can go you can see that that looks pretty good so you've got shell hill i don't know i don't know the battle of income particularly well so I'll, I'll just highlight some features to you uh, shell hill this is where the 10th infantry infantry division sets up these look like setup zones uh, you've got the uh, the great battery will set up here uh, home ridge 
I like the wording here, all done in uh, acrylic. And you can see a little close up here on the artwork here. I quite like this artwork, it's very nice. And then let's see, what are we looking at? Nine or ten pages of rules. So, once again, a clean, crisply worded, well thought through, generally speaking. I, I like the way Tom writes his rules. Uh, I'd kind of prefer to see the sequence of play just in general at the front with most games, but this is a uh, Stuck on page three here, which is not necessarily a big deal. But there you go, beautiful, uh, beautiful quality game. Nice comprehensive two pages of notes here on the design process. Charts are on the back. Uh, combat, events, terrain effects and movement, and charge tables. Etc. 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 So well done. I'm looking forward to getting this one on the table. Now I, I gotta, I gotta confess, I, I'm not exactly sure when that's gonna happen. I have had a flood of uh, games come in recently uh, from various folks and from purchases, and uh, I'm struggling to keep abreast of them all. But we'll do our, we will do our best to play. All right, I'm uh, gonna let you go. This is Blood in the Fog, The Battle of Inkman, 1854, the seventh title from Holland Spiel Games, and a lovely uh, little production unit that is. All right, gentlemen, we'll talk to you soon.